Good afternoon, everybody. Anthony Rodriguez here for the Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine. How are you doing today? Today, I'm going to be talking about probiotics. And, uh, and why am I talking about probiotics? Because I work part-time at a, at a local, at a regional uh, grocery store, farmer's market grocery store that has a vitamin department in it. And people come in there and they find me working there and they come and they say things like, I have problems with my stomach. I need a liver cleanse. I have this, I have that, I have the other thing. And anybody who knows me and knows the kind of work that I do understands that when you tell me that, I start to look at you. And so what I do is I tell these people who I am and what I am, and I ask for their permission to read them. And a lot of times they don't understand what it means to be read. But after we have a conversation, they really start to understand. Aho. So once again, Anthony Rodriguez, Walking Crow for the Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine. And I also want to remind you that you're listening to music in the background from Listening to Smile. You can purchase this music by going to listeningtosmile.com, entering the code Anthony J, and get a 10% discount. Uh, my friend Ian Morris has an incredible, incredible uh, uh, library of music. And uh, we would like to share that with you, I hope. So anyways, um, you know, the gut. How many times have you said to yourself, I have a gut feeling, or I have a funny feeling in my stomach, or I have butterflies in my stomach, and energetically you know something's going on, but you're not quite sure and you don't feel right. How many times have you not spoken something, you know, and uh, not said what you really needed to say, and you didn't feel right in your body, in any part of your body, but especially your gut? How many of you have been in, um, uh, in, in relationships or have broken up in relationships and have been sick to your stomach or sick about it? Aho. Relationships and how relationships land in our body, land in our second chakra, in the place of water. Second chakra, the place of connection. The place is, this is where we feel. This is where we heal. This is where we fight or flight. Aho. And yet, we won't do anything about it. We won't talk about it. We won't give ourselves self-love by talking about it. Those who find me on Facebook and Instagram and um, LinkedIn and anywhere, I hope, doing my work, know that I talk about the things that matter. I talk about the things that happen in my life. I, you don't have to know everything, but you know that I'm going through something and I allow myself, I allow myself to have the emotion of it, whether it's anger, whether it's fear, whether it's uh, I need to cry, whether it's sadness, whether I need to mourn, whatever it is, I walk through the emotions. I am about the transformation and the transcendence and the transition and the transmutation of the feel of the energy of feelings that we hold in our body. And I know what I'm talking about because I was 238 pounds at one time. For five or six years, and uh, I know what it is to let go of the emotional baggage and the bondage that I've carried for a lifetime. I don't have to carry that, and neither do you, but you will, because you'll find excuses not to do it. And I and I hear it every day. I I, I used to work in an office in in Hollywood, uh, and people would say, um, you know, I'm going to do a three day cleanse, and they would order this stuff in the mail, and the stuff would come, and they would get through the. They couldn't even get through the first day. They couldn't even give themselves that. They wouldn't honor themselves in a way to sacrifice something. They couldn't sacrifice the cheeseburger. They couldn't sacrifice the pizza. They couldn't sacrifice whatever it was that they didn't that they didn't want to give themselves because they don't know how. Do you want to learn how? And I'm going to give you this information right now. Anthony at sacreddrummedicine.com. 818-442-1717 is my office number. Do you want to learn how to let go of the bondage and the baggage and the hurts and the wounds that you've been carrying for a lifetime that you don't know how to let lose the weight over? The weight that keeps you protected from others, women, men, men, women, aho, aho, aho. Do you want to learn how to lose that gut? Do you want to learn how to not have that feeling in the gut by actually experiencing the emotion that should come along with it instead of that feeling in the gut? Aho. When will you take the time to step in to the emotions that your body is talking to you about? I hope. Do you need lung cancer? Do you need heart disease? Do you need prostate cancer? Do you need problems in your reproductive systems? I hope. Do you? Do you need liver cancer? I learned from a, from a, from a 71-year-old man 25 years ago how I didn't want to die, how I wasn't going to die. 
I was not going to die from heart disease or lung cancer from carrying around or not being able to love myself. I was not going to die from liver cancer, right here, liver cancer, from low or no self-esteem. I hope I wasn't. And I wasn't going to drink myself to death because I couldn't speak. Spirit's in, spirit out, right into the plug where I can't speak. I'm blocked and I can't say what I need to say because I'm not loved. I'm afraid that somebody won't love me. I'm afraid of reprisal. I'm afraid of shame. I'm afraid of all those things. Are you? Can you? Will you? Do you? I'm not. I hope. I have no fear about those things. A young lady, in fact, she's on now. Elena, hi. Elena, how are you? Uh, sent me a message the other day because I posted a video where I was crying. I was crying. And I was crying because uh, this, is, this is what we do. We walk through the emotions of the things that happen to us. Sometimes we do it in private. Sometimes we do it, I do it in public. Because I want you to know, man, woman, and child, that it's okay to cry. That it's okay to feel your feelings. Regardless of who's watching. Regardless of who, who's not watching. Regardless of who cares or doesn't care. I hope, because here, here's, the, here's the rub. Most people don't care. Because most people are too busy thinking about themselves, what it is they are doing for themselves. I hope, I hope, simple. So what do I care what others think of me? What do I care about what others say about me? What do I care about what they don't think or say about me? Biggest one, I don't. I'm busy and in and of the business of myself. Anthony J. Rodriguez, trying to help others. Being an example of how to let go. Being an example of how to walk through the four winds and be a well-rooted tree in my foundation, in my root, and extending my branches into the heavens and allowing the birds of the air to nest in my branches and eat of my fruit. And what is my fruit? My fruit is how I got from point A to point B. And the experience of that where you say, me too, I've, I've experienced that too. How did you do that, Anthony? How did you do that? And I can share how I did that by walking through the things that I walk through, not hiding, not running behind, um, uh, uh, you know, I'm depressed, uh, anxiety, uh, 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 antidepressants, you know, uh, buying uh, tons and tons of, of vitamins and different things in the vitamin department that, that you're trying to calm your brain, you're trying to calm your mind. You know, some people come in and say, you know, I'm looking for something for my brain. I ask them, do you want something organic? And they say, yes. I said, go buy walnuts and eat walnuts. They're like, what? Go buy walnuts and eat walnuts. Did you, have you ever looked at a walnut? It looks like your brain. That's the same stuff that's in those vitamins. They refine that stuff and they make it into little powders and they put it into little capsules and they give it to you at, you know, 30 bucks a bottle. <laughs> when you can spend five or six bucks and buy a bag of a pound of walnuts, I hope. How about that? Or turmeric or oregano, any of those things, they help. But most importantly, you can save more money and you can uh, save lots of dollars and you can save lots of hell in your life by just being with the emotions that come up in your life. Let go of the things that you have been unwilling to let go of for a lifetime or lifetimes. I hope. How have they served you other than to have you get a buy or have a, a prescription for medical marijuana? Oh, really? <laughs> medical marijuana? A prescription for medical marijuana because you have anxiety, you have stress, you have depression, but you won't do anything about it other than that to fix it, to fix you. You won't go inside and be with those things, write them down, express them, unblock the lock that's up here in the head. Unblock the lock. Unblock the lock. Listen to me. Unblock the lock and let go of the prescriptions. All the prescriptions. Antidepressants. Are you OCD? You know, checking the stove, checking the doors behind other people because you don't trust. You have no safety, no security. But you won't admit that. You won't talk about that. You won't be in your grounding of your root chakra, of your feet. You won't be in the, in the low or no self-esteem and look at that really to, say, to see what it is and how do I do something about it and reach out to somebody because somebody might find out, somebody might not, somebody might know that I'm insecure, that, 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 I, that I don't know how to be right here, right now. All, the rooms of Alcoholics Anonymous and Narcotics Anonymous and Marijuana Anonymous and Cocaine Anonymous and all those Anonymouses are full of people like that who don't know how to be right here, right now. And I am one of them. I was one of them. I am one of them. 
I go, I attend those meetings and I've been sober for the last 25, almost 26 years. And I've never had a reason to drink, never had a reason to fix, never had a reason to do any of those things. I lost the weight of the bondage and the baggage that I carried around for a lifetime six years ago, five or six years ago. I was 238 pounds. I'm 160 pounds now. I don't diet. In fact, I don't diet. I'm writing a book. I started writing a book two years ago that's called Diet, D-I-E hyphen T. America kills itself to gain five pounds because it doesn't lose 10. <laughs> it can't lose the weight that it wants to lose, but it gains five trying. I don't understand that. And you learn that. I, I get to watch that every year on the first of the year when everybody is making a, a resolution and they make a resolution. I'm going to give this up. I'm going to give that up. I'm going to lose this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to join a gym. And two weeks into the resolution there, they're lying, lying flat on their face eating a pizza. Come on. And they've gained five or 10 pounds. And then they're, they're running to uh, Fat Tuesday. Oh, let's have a good time Fat Tuesday because I'm going to, you know, tomorrow's Ash Wednesday and I have to give up chocolate or I have to give up uh, uh, ice cream or some, some menial thing that doesn't mean anything. Give yourself something that means something. Give up the giving up. Aho. Let go of the giving up and the things you keep giving up and don't serve you. And the giving up doesn't serve you. Aho. Step into the power and who and what you are. Let me show you the power of who and what you are. Let me mentor you into that place. Aho. My name is Anthony Rodriguez, Walking Crow, and this is the transformational sacred drum medicine I'm talking about. Aho. This is the medicine that I walk through. This is the medicine that I never learned from a book. This is the medicine that I didn't learn in school. This is the medicine that gets downloaded to me, I hope, that gets downloaded to me from a source that's higher than any source on this earth. Creator, great spirit, I hope. The four directions, I hope. Mother Earth, I hope. When will you be willing to let go and listen to something other than what you think you know? Because you don't know it. You don't know it. I talk about this all the time. There's people who sit in two hours of traffic every week and complain about it. Really? You complain about two hours of traffic. Are you happy at that job? You're happy at that job and you go, you go on vacation once a week, once a year for two weeks or a week and you, 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 you can't wait to get there. You can't wait to get to Friday. You can't wait to get home. For what? Two glasses of wine that turn into two bottles that turn into two days of misery. I hope. Am I right or am I wrong? I don't have to be right. I'm just pointing it out. I'm recognizing it. I understand what it is. Been there, done that. I have lived that life. And I no longer live that life. I hope. I, ha I shed those 238 pounds, 78 pounds actually. I'm 160 pounds. I don't go up. I go maybe a couple and then go down a couple. You know, it's right. But I'm always at 160. It's not about the weight. I chose years ago to give myself something good. I chose years ago to give myself something healthy. I didn't choose to juice for one day or do cayenne pepper with lemon and hot water and blah, blah, blah for a day. No, that's not what I did. I watched the video and, I'm, and I, don't, I don't ever plug other people or other things, but I watched the, the video, Sick, Fat, and Nearly Dead by Joe. I can't remember Joe's last name, but I heard him. I heard him. And I was putting garbage into the garbage pail. I was the garbage pail. I no longer live as a garbage pail. I'm living proof that you can transcend, transmute, transition, and transform your life physically, spiritually, emotionally, if you want to. Do you want to? I want to. I have, and I do. And there's people out there that will judge me and say, yeah, well, you're still this and you're still that. Just ask my ex-wife. She'll tell you. I hope, you know, I'm imperfect as imperfect is going to get. But high human. Hi, human. I will love you with your perfections and your imperfections regardless. I will support you with those things. I will stand behind you. I will stand next to you. I will stand in front of you and pull you forward if need be. I will help you when you feel that you're not helpable. Uh -huh. I am hope. I am what hope looks like. I am what hope speaks like. I am what hope sounds like. Uh -huh. <laughs> I am that. And I was called a lot of things. And a lot of people like to, like to uh, talk to me about the way I used to be as a child. But I'm not a child. Be By the way, I was a certain way as a child. But I wasn't the adult that raised me. I wasn't the school, the teachers that raised me. I wasn't the police. I wasn't the priest. I wasn't any of those things. I was a child that I should have been raised in a different and better way. Do I hold the, pe the, the feet to the, 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 those people to the fire for that? No. That's a recognition. That's an understanding of what I know. I hold. 
I take responsibility where I need to take responsibility. You take yours. Aho, mitaki yase, aho. So what is it you're willing to let go of? Are you really willing to let go of it? When are you going to be willing to be able to have the conversation with your husband and say what you really need to say like, you know, that hurt my feelings. And Mr. Husband or Mr. Boyfriend, when are you going to be able to say what you really want to say to her that I don't like this or I don't like that without fear of reprisal or shame or hurt or being wounded? Oh, when will we be able to understand each other in a kind and loving way, in a compassionate way of Kuan Yin? Aho. Aho, Kuan Yin, compassion. My life has been transformed. My life has been transcended. My, li my life has been transitioned and transmuted. Yours can too. Reach out to me at anthony at sacreddrummedicine.com. You don't have to live the way that you live and keep telling yourself that, oh, that's just the way it is. Or, you know, that's my fate. <laughs> yeah, that's my fate. I, I know a lot of people who, ah, that's my fate. No, I don't, on that. <laughs> there's a lot of things that I am and there's a lot of things that I'm not. But I stand in the power of who and what I am, regardless of what it looks like to the, for, from the outside. I do not live a conventional life because I'm not a conventional person. I never have been. I've been a, uh, I've been a, a child that was, that was tied to the whipping post and uh, I've been reprimanded for a lifetime and I've been called stupid, I've been, all kinds of stuff. But I have transcended those things because I am the I am that I say I am. I stand in the power of who and what I am. Aho, aho, aho. I am a teacher, I am a master. And I didn't become a teacher and a master by getting the certificate or, or trying to uh, puff up my chest when I walked into a room of people and tried to impress people. I didn't do that. That's not the way it is. I become a teacher and a master and a student, a whole, I remain a student of the listening and the understanding of others. I listen and understand others and I say, me too. You too? Me too. I understand how you feel because I've been there, done that, and I share my experiences and my stories and the fruit of my branches when you nest in them because this is how I did it. This is how I did it. You know, do you want to do it? How do you want to do it? How do you want to transcend? How do you want to transition? Can you? Will you? Do you? How do you look at yourself in the mirror when you, when you brush your teeth in the morning or you comb your hair or you're getting ready? Can you look at yourself in the mirror? Can you look at yourself in the heart? Can you look at yourself in your fire, fire your fuego? I can, I will, I do. That place of your fire, a self-esteem, I hope. Can you connect from your second chakra to your heart space through your third chakra, your fire, your self-esteem through your fire? How, how low or no self-esteem do you have? Little, bit, none. Do you? Can you? Will you? This is kind of an intense video, but I want it to be intense. I'm not here to play. My name is Anthony Rodriguez, Walking Crow, and I can help you. There are others like me that can help you. My friend Angela Jean Harnett in Spokane helps a lot of people, and so do I. And we work together to help people. When will you be willing to step into the power and who and what you are? Aho. I'm going to share this experience, and I'm going to call it a day. A week ago yesterday, Sunday, we held a, a, an event at the Church of Truth. The Church of Truth. How about that? Uh, <laughs> a center of Awakening Consciousness. And uh, it was called uh, the New Moon Manifestation. And we journeyed. I drummed and we journeyed. And my journey is usually shorter than everybody else's because I'm drumming and I'm, I'm noticing and I'm looking. And, and when, I, when I stop drumming and I sit down and I close my eyes, I start to journey. Well, as I journeyed, I saw I was flying in the air because I'm crow. I was flying over the ocean and I saw the golden light. I saw the golden light reflecting on the sun on the ocean. The golden light I saw, it was reflecting me. I am the golden light. This is, this is a revelation and the image that I had. I am the golden light. I am the sun. I am sun. S-O-N-S-U-N. I hope I am the golden light. And that was the reflection that I was seeing of myself. When will you see the golden light in yourself? When will you pay attention to the golden light of yourself? Do you need help? Do you need to be mentored? Because there are many of us out here. Call me. Look me up. I can refer you to somebody. Somebody, somebody asked me about that yesterday and I'm going to refer three people to them so they can call and they can make their decision and choice of who that person will be to help them. I, hope. I will do that and I do that. You know, This is what I do. This is who I am. This is who I've always was wanted to be and this is who I've always been. I hope. 
it just didn't look like it at the time 20 years ago or 30 years ago or 40 years ago or, or even six or five years ago or two years ago. It changes every day, I hope. My name is Anthony Rodriguez, and this is a transformational Sega Drum Medicine. And when will you give yourself what it is that you really want? Aho. When will you stop living in shame? When will you stop living in the unbelief? When will you stop living in anxiety? Anxiety. When will you stop living a stress-filled life? When will you stop giving yourself titles like OCD uh, and, and whatever else titles they, they give you and, uh, to, to, to uh, identify sickness that is dis-ease within the body, which is an emotional sickness. You can cure that. You can do something about that. You just have to be willing and brave enough to step into the abyss of the unknown of the rest of your life. Aho! My name is Anthony Rodriguez, and this is the Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine Walking Crow. And you can reach me at anthony at sacreddrummedicine.com, or you can call my office at area code 818-442-1717. Or you can go to my website at sacreddrum24.weebly.com. And I also want to remind you that you're listening to the music of Listen to Smile, Listening to Smile, and at listeningtosmile.com. You can purchase this music by entering the code of Anthony J and get a 10% discount at listeningtosmile.com. Have a beautiful day and thank you for listening. Aho, mita.